I have this videos from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the basic and important Java entry question. What is variable shadowing in Java? Shadowing occurs when two variables with different scopes share the same name. This shadowing leads to hard to find bugs and it also makes code let less readable. A local variable shadows an instance variable inside a class method. I have a static variable here okay, at the, at the class level and in different scopes I have the same variable. Say I have a local method, okay, private method and I have a variable inside this with the same name. So this is called as shadowing. With the same name in a different scope you will be having variables. Actually, the, you will not be getting you will not be getting any compilation error, but this is hard to find bugs and it makes the code less readable. So let's try to avoid variable shadowing in Java. Let's see how exactly it works. So I have a calculate interest here. Within this scope, I have one one more calculate interest, and here here I'm trying to access the the main important calculate interest. Again, within the scope, I have one more calc interest. So there are three variables in three different scopes. So this is called a shadowing. We should try to avoid this shadowing because it is hard to find bugs and it will make code less readable. Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.